This is more an analysis of the little pixels that made up the animation. Wow, 10 by 7 pixels. <laughs> Hair, arms. Uh, it's amazing how this is kind of being conjured. You know, how on earth with such a limited number of pixels? Uh, 7 by 10 said here, I, I, I was always in my head, I thought it was 8 by 8, but I'm sure that was just me uh, thinking of standard computing dimensions. So there you go, just seven frames of animation, and that's the character you can get from that. Is it's crazy how <laughs> there it is. Yeah, as soon, as soon as that moves, that's got character. You can immediately project character onto that. I don't remember Mike being an animator at all. That's good for Mike. He's he's such a hardcore coder. I see him. So you've even got yeah, even sort of like that bouncing hair now. That is really impressive for just a square on a screen that you could just about see. I mean, look at that artist adaptation is brilliant. At least people still need artists with such little pixels. <laughs> I think the hair flapping about looks great, actually. See, it's the movement of the arm that adds so much character to it. I mean, you're literally talking about, you know, one pixel here or one pixel there. I mean, it's incredible. It's 10 by 7 pixels. Really incredible. What Gary's done here, suddenly there's weight and feel. Um, it's more convincing and you know, in all sorts of ways. Those changes are enough to kind of just you know, imbue that character with a little bit more life. Those were the days. The glory days can't be...